You shouldn't, the thumb shouldn't move. Still a little bit. Well, it moved a little, but as long as you don't ungrip yeah. it and regrip it. But this is all part of it. Like I said, this and this. So all the guys that I've had, and what you might need to do here is go to what I had to do with <coughs> Kyle Nelson. So, so what Kyle did, okay, we, we did what, what, what I did with you, but watch, watch what he does when he finally tests. Okay, so just like in my NFL combine, we're going to do the balls and strikes. I'll be catching them at 14 yards. All right, we're going to snap and block left to start with. All right, here we go. So watch, watch how he starts. You know, block and Hi, Eric. What is he doing? Most guys grab it with his right hand. Yeah, he grabs it with left. To do what? Emphasize the that grip, hand, yeah. have it control with the left hand. Oh, block and left. Step number one. Set. That's a strike. Now, he gets a little past. Some of his balls aren't perfect, but he's like... 248, yeah, and he runs exactly. like a 4'6". Looks like a freaking beast. Well, that's what I'm saying. So that's why his dad was a football coach and is up in Canada. But he was a wide receiver, then he became a tight end. And so, like Christian Coons, he might not throw the prettiest spiral, but he's there because of, he's a football player. But, again, to help him, it was... All right, snap number two. Lock and left. Set. That's a strike. So all of them are within that, my head, every yeah. time. All eight of them. And they were all pretty damn, pretty good spirals. So, again, with you, and like with him, we came up watching the ball so the hands didn't move. Okay, so I don't see the thumb move. I'm not seeing a lot. And see, because you got a good stance and you know where the release point is, then you got to just trust it, right? So the ball moves first, right? I don't see the legs moving. I don't see the ass moving. So the first thing to move is, and what should move first is the ball. So you pick it up. Now you, you have a little tendency to want to bring it to the right side of the line, yeah. right? Okay. But now you pick it up, you cock it, and now the ball, there's your release point, now the eyes. There's the hands working together. Now see your hands, this hand is working a little more up than out, okay? But I'd like to see them lower, kind of about the, just a little above the knee. Okay. And not think of anything, but see you're kind of like, ta-da! Yeah. I want them to just pop in place rather than search and then ta-da! Okay, but this, this for the first time. Yeah, how the hands look? Good. Right, right, right there. Now, okay, nick, nick. Almost like a catcher. Right there. Right pitch. Take it back, bring. Exactly. <laughs> right down the line. Leave with the elbows, point the nose. All right, without looking. Ready? Get. See, so now in your brain, you're getting that release point. Both hands. When you do this, both hands are on the ball. Mm -hmm. And so now both hands are thinking together, just like when you were up above. You don't go like this. You go like this, okay? Okay, ready? Get that. And so the only thing I see is there's just a, a little pickup and bringing it a, sh a shade to the right, right side. So now that, that, that you know that you're picking it up and you're creating what? A total eclipse of the line. Now you can see how the right hand is still just a little different, right? Yeah. But with time, it's going to go away, but yeah. it doesn't go away in no, two days with me. Exactly. But your hands are popping. Now, I don't want I don't want your body to keep and your head to keep going don't down. Want, yeah. Why? Because the lower your head goes, the more your ass goes up. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's like a teeter top. <laughs> Right? Yeah. So, but that's kind of what you were taught. And a lot of guys, when they talk about a follow through, they try to get through further. And I, I just want your hands to go so far. <laughs>
because when you punt, you got to get them back up to block. <laughs> yeah. So you don't need a deep follow through. You got to pop and then block, pop, block, whatever it's going to be. And then it's going to be block or it's going to be, you know, punch snap. Just a little, but you are getting much better here. And then you grip it and don't, don't let it move, right? You got it to on it. Now look at me, don't let anything move, pop. Now see that the yeah the right hand. Well, see as you threw it harder. Yeah. As you throw it harder, the right hand is going to take over. This is why for a week or so, you need to go fifty percent, sixty percent, seventy. Now, when you get the game speed, you got to just snap it, but you don't have any games coming up for two yeah. months, right? So again, when you threw it hard, you picked it up more, you brought it more to the right line, and you see the right hand, and you see how far the head goes down. Yeah and see how your ass goes up. But you just tried to throw it hard. Okay, now it came up here. Now, the, so at the end, all you should see is to my hands right here. All right, you, you see my hand? Yeah. Can you see up here? Yeah. Good. Now lock the legs from where you got it. Ready, snap. Now you see the cords in your legs? Yeah. We can see the cords. And so if we lock the legs, we should still see the cords like you saw Lovato. And as long as we get this release point, see this might be just a hair late, but the hands are working pretty good. Now, like I said, you have this tendency to keep lowering your Popping head down. and you don't need to. You just gotta think, it's gone, and now I'm gonna block, okay? Okay, good, that's all right. You should only see, if you see the entire holder, you're gonna... Look at the ball, look at your hands. Now bring your head down just to see my hands, all right? Lock the legs, ready, pop. As long as it doesn't move too much. Okay, your left hand moved again. See? So this is the last snap. Go ahead. Get your hands on the ball. Now, no, no, just look at the ball. Just, and you're gonna snap at me without looking, but just don't let your hands move. Ready, Stick. So you pick it up, okay? You're not even looking. Yeah. So you pick it up, you cock it, you point it. Now the ball, now the ball in your head come. There's a release point right off the top of the grass. Okay. Now hands are not too bad right there. Okay. Perfect. Now look where your hands finished. Below your knees, right? Yeah. There's no more feeling than hitting your ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, again, there's a little searching yeah. going on or framing like your dad said with a catcher. But eventually you're going to learn to pop those in place better. Okay, shut, shut that off. 